I was feeling some relief, but not really much. And this wasn't a burning in my throat anymore, but more of an ache that was radiating out from my sternum. And I thought, okay, maybe if I took some Valium or Dicyclamine, the antispasm medication, maybe that would help. And this time, like I started to say, the pain was in my chest, not in my stomach. So I ended up deciding the half of Valium would, would relax me. So I got back in bed briefly, but I just was restless. I couldn't shake it. And I'm thinking at this point, wow, you know, this is getting pretty intense. And the thought of a heart issue did cross my mind, but every time I've had these spasms before, it, it, you know, I think about my heart, but it's clearly diet what I'm eating. So I just brushed the thought away. And part of me, to be honest, just didn't want to consider that it would be something with my heart. I mean, why would it be? I'm not that old. I'm, I was relatively very healthy. It would just be, at this point, such a pain in the ass to have to go to the hospital and deal with emergency rooms and so forth. It was something I just didn't want to, to deal with. I didn't want to go down that road. So I was convinced at the time that this would just pass as it had before and I could just take care of it. But crap, I'm thinking it's just not shaking off. Um, so I didn't quite know what to do, so at this point I took the other half of the valley and I thought, well, that would relax me more, this would help. And this was really a tough decision. You see, my, my husband is a flight attendant with a major U.S. airline, and, you know, because of that, the benefits are sweet and when we can actually take advantage of them. And he had this really rare 24-hour Cancun layover at the Hyatt Regency, beautiful hotel down in, in Mexico. I got to go once before and I was going to go and join him. And I had just literally on the 31st of July, three days earlier, just completed a really stressful nine month contract as the programming manager for a large Maryland arts festival. And I was glad that that was wrapping up and um, this was going to be a big celebration for us to both finish that contract and also before I launched some new exciting career stuff for me that I had planned. So now I'm kind of negotiating with myself. I'm thinking, well, if I were to go to the hospital, it's probably just gas pains, and I would end up screwing up this entire trip, the entire weekend, and we'd be up all night sitting in the ER, and that would be it, and then it would lift, and so forth. So in the back of my head, I'm thinking, look, if this gets really bad and I pass out, you know, then I'd have no choice. Then I'd have to go to the hospital. And, you know, <laughs> I know I'm thinking all this crazy stuff, but I'm not really believing any of it at all. But because the thought of my heart was in there, so I started digging through Craig's medicine cabinet looking for some aspirin, because I read it's good to take some aspirin if um, you think it's a heart attack, which was ridiculous because it wasn't, but still it's in my head. And now my frustration is building and I'm walking back and forth. I walked back in the bedroom and I thought, I'm going to go into the shower just one more time. And I know this is the part that really gets really weird, but I hear a voice in my head that says to me, in case I were to pass out and die while I was in the shower, I should kiss both Craig and the dog goodbye for closure. That's exactly how I heard it, the words for closure. And I know it makes no sense and many of you might be thinking, well, if you really think that it's so bad that you're dying, then why aren't you calling 911? You know, why don't you just pick up the phone and call for help? And honestly, I think most people go through this. It was too scary a thought to contemplate. I was thinking to myself, if I have no choice, I would rather just drop in the shower than go through a medical nightmare, not knowing what they were going to do, what was involved, and so forth. So I did. I kissed them both goodbye, just in case, not really believing that anything would happen to me. And then I headed into the shower one more time to try and see if I could relax and feel any better. Then things got worse.